Welcome back to GDPG. We are in episode three of Hyperlight Drifter. Yeah. Um, love the red lava. I think it's like, I didn't expect them to use such a bloody red and it looks great. Huh? Oh no. Oh, wait, just, I like that. Uh, I like the contrast between like whatever that is, like the lava death pit blood area and then the water. Yeah. Right. Like that's a really, really cool contrast. I'm not actually sure if it's lava because you can see the bones below. Yeah, so maybe so it's just like a dust or it, yeah. smoke. Yeah, and it's just trying to be like, ooh. Uh, speaking of smoke, <laughs> so yesterday uh, I was watching my uh, my girlfriend's um, parents' wedding video. Mm -hmm. And I guess it was a cool thing back in the late 80s to have a smoke machine at your wedding. And so at one point they had like smoke coming out, like they were in like a some kind of like a hell club scene or something, because they only had one smoke machine, so it was just coming out from one end. It was really weird. <laughs> <laughs> the 80s, man. No joke. The 80s Let's say, I was a thing. a thing here. Oh, nice. So now, how precise do you have to be to get? Like, did you have to get for that? Was, you was know, that like precise enough that it matters that you're going the right direction. But uh, honestly, they they hold your hand just a little bit because it's kind of nice. They, yeah, it, it you don't have to be. Well, because that's a really weird jump. You know, in world. some games, you'd be sitting there for an hour, being like, oh, I just, just like I'm just gonna get, get that yeah. credit, that quarter of a credit. Yeah. And I, I mean, it may that quarter of a credit may matter because I don't know if it's like there's a limited amount no no absolutely like at, at this point game. how are we supposed like we, we so. just know that there is a currency and we do not have enough for anything yet right um so this thing right here like this right here is an mm. indication to show you like that they do hold your hand a little bit because yeah. they stop it right there it's not like i needed to be a specific distance to pull right that you off. just kind of did it yep um, so this game causes you to want to explore a lot at like every corner and shit Which because nice. you, you know you never know um, and uh, but then on occasion when you're not rewarded and there's nothing, yeah, there, feels like there should have been something there. I, I yeah. feel like there could have been like anything. So no. I feel like I, I think maybe that there's a chance that there could be something there. Oh, like later, absolutely. Yeah. Now, can you jump off of an area that you're not supposed to jump to? So like, could you jump in the water and get hurt? Okay, you can. And then you take damage. Well, all right. Yep. So, um, yeah, if you, uh... Dude, I just, I love, I don't have, I keep saying, man, this color palette is awesome. Yeah, I really like I'm it. I really mean, that's that's one reason, the thing that captured me into the Kickstarter, right? Yeah, I, I, I totally see why. I mean, first of all, you know, your favorite chiptune artist <laughs> is writing the music for this, or did the music for mm -hmm. this. So, it seems like a no-brainer. I spent a lot of hours listening to him. Yeah, well, that's good, man. It's good. So, like, you can talk to this guy, right? And then... Look, oh. at, that, look at that thing. What is that thing? It, it looks rrr. like a freaking And then it shows frog. you on the map. Kapow. Red ah, Skull is bad. There, there's a bad dude there. So, basically, he lets you know. Now, I'll, I'll say, like, I went to the another area, and yeah. there's a guy that did, like, a, the exact same thing. So it seems that the, uh, at every area there is a. Uh, and they put on a different spot, or did it literally take you to the same exact place and put the red skull there again. Uh, no, uh, like I think if I come back, this guy's even gonna be gone. Oh, oh little goat peoples. I feel so good, sad for the goat people. Yeah, I'm These kind of pissed at the so frog annoying. people. They're annoying because they often hit you right before you finish them off. Uh, and that can be frustrating when you don't have a lot of health. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you have potions. Duh. Every time. There's some horse caca. I like the way they jump around, though. They yeah, they're very cool. cool. They're yeah. just extremely frustrating enemies. So, yeah, I think if I come back, he's going to be gone. Oh, no, he's still nope. there. But yeah, there, there's it seems to be a guy in every area that will tell you where the boss is gonna be, which is is that, nice. To that's kind of nice, you know. You're just like I know where. There's nothing there, just so you know. So is this a world of animals then? Because looks like everyone's some kind of animal type. It does seem that way. Um, I mean, like this guy is not. And he's just like, like you're like a blue skinned person. Yeah. Thing. Maybe if you take off your thing, you're actually like a friggin' walrus. Could be. Why, why a walrus? Because I feel like games would never want your protagonist if it's about animals be to be a walrus. So, um, like, giant hand-holding a sword. A sword. sword. That's yeah. super cool. Right? 
feels very Final Fantasy. It's uh yeah, I think it. I mean, I I would imagine it has to do with the giants. Uh, right. Like yes. That is a giant. So, just like it, it's the reason the companion is important is because he lets you know that you've come across a secret. Yeah, which which is nice because you might not know something's there, and then all of a sudden he's like, "Hey, there's something here." He um he negates the uh, the button mash uh, need effect, like when you're like, "Oh, is there something on this wall? What about oh, this wall?" Oh, I see. Uh, sh- keep pressing the button that I need to press and like doing nice one of these the, yeah right that's because of that frustrated. yeah because of because of him you don't need to do that if you just walk near it he'll let you know straight up that hey this is a thing or not a thing it's very 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 they're, nice they're, to they're have they like their elevators yeah it's a thing it's cool no not like really a bad thing it's just you know they like their elevators this is strange too, by the way, because I like right now stairs. it's lit up, but I've mm-hmm. come back here before and this area was dark, so I'm not really sure. Weird. Yeah, I don't know. A little, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure why, and I think that's, you know, with lack of text, you don't always find out why. Yeah. And oh. coughing up more blood, I'm and sure continue you, on. Are one of the little shadow demons? Not every that? time. So... It does remind me, uh, did you ever play uh, Swords and Sorcery? I did not. So in that, as you continue through the game, if you remember the symbol from back yep. the... Uh, everything's so technological and sciencey. It's so cool. It's very. It's a very sci-fi... Ah, so now you've built a piece of that little uh, thing. Yep. There you go. Zoop, 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 zoop. They like something about having... Oh, what? That's a lot. Yeah. I was about to make a comment how they like things being in groups of four, but never mind. That <laughs> it's a crap ton. I thought it was going to be groups of four as well, and then, and then you saw that, that and theory like, nope. was debunked. Yeah. Um, I think there was there. You can break that fire. No, some you can though. I think. Weird. So no, nothing's there. Nope, that that hurt you. Yep. I'm probably going to miss a lot of these secrets. This is the area I went into. And that's all right. Then you'll have a lot of people in the comments be like, but you missed the most important item of the game. Yeah. You missed the sword of Katmandun. (laughs) That needs to be in a game now. Yeah. The idle eye of Igoth. (laughs) Terrible. Yeah, well, you know. So, um, if you if you haven't noticed already, a lot have you ever like platformers, right? Like yeah. Mario, things like that. You jump over a gap. In this game, it's not about like timing with your jumps. It's uh, it's ma- directional, like making sure you're hitting the right direction, direction and that you're not yeah. off a little bit. In the in the the uh, angle is very sensitive to your directions. So there there is difference in your diagonals it's yeah. not just a simple eight directional movement which is nice because then at least that gives it a bit of challenge mm-hmm. um and everyone wants challenge in their game you know you don't want to have a game that holds your hand the whole way yeah hey we got a credit or so a, boom a dollar bill y'all you call it a credit for all i care well, well we'll call it a got block. a movie reel yeah, we got a, blow. <laughs> a rung for a ladder i'm not really sure i uh we got a circle <laughs> it's, it's a circle <laughs> But I mean, it's it's money. It's money, 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 money. Now warp point. Yup. So now I can travel back and forth. Oh, to that first area, and yeah. yeah. And you can do it just like free will, basically, even if you're in a dungeon. Oh, really? That's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, sad area, like little shrine. As I try to cut him up. <laughs> yeah, right. Talk to this guy who seems to be hitting on a chain. They're like dog rat people. Yeah. Being run out by the frog. I call them little goat people. Because some of them have horns, I think. Oh, okay. But I don't oh. know. I, I'm just... Oh, no. Uh. This dismembered friend's head. Yeah, right? Now you hate the fish people. The fish slaves. lizard people. Screw those guys, right? Salamander people. Dude, it's time to rise up against the salamanders. Take back the night or the day. I mean, it's daytime. It is usually daytime. I'd like to say that in a movie where it's always daytime. Like, take back the night, and they'll be like, dude, it's day. Dude, like, we have like one night every like uh, six years yeah, right. because well, we need this to take is back Saturn. The, the night. So. Yeah, right. 
Um, so yeah, game. like a lot of things that you, that you can see, but I can't go there yet. And so there's a lot of like blocking and stuff like that. And by uh, travel, I'm, 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 I can only go down in that down. one direction. So, um, but as I come back and re I can re-explore, it took me a really long up. time to get through this area. No, I'm sure. I'm sure. And, uh, and yeah. then I went back through it to see if I was missing anything. <laughs> which, which is good. You know, I feel like that's, that's good on this game to be like, hmm, did I miss something? Yeah. It makes you want to explore more, and it's such a cool scenery that why wouldn't you? That like a, that's like like a robo dog. <laughs> I I would I would put it more toward a totem. Yeah, robo dog totem. <laughs> <laughs> robo woof woof. All right, but we can uh, we can probably explore more of this on the next episode. Yep. Question oh, yeah. of the day: Should I go down this tunnel, or should I stay, or should I go now? Whatever. Well, I mean, you, you, you can't make a question of the day and then just do it. <laughs> well, that's the question of the day. <laughs> I Did really, I do this? Well, what, what, is, what is our question of the day? Um, uh, you know, let's talk about the platforming. Yeah. Uh, because there, since it, the, you don't have to, like, jump over a gap or anything, instead it's a, a very, like, it's jumps, right? Because they're dashing, but their jumps are, are linear. Um, do you feel like that would get boring after a while, or do you think? Can you think of any things that thing that would make those uh, those jump challenges interesting that um, it would entertain you the entire game? All right, guys. So yeah, just make sure to like, uh, comment below, and uh, make sure to vote. Vote. Uh, Please if vote. If you want to see us play more of this game or a plethora of other games that Affinity Chris has tossed up for us, uh, so we'll see you on the next episode. See you guys.